What's up, nerds? Mace Blade here uh, with your cheats for the game No One Survived. Have to apologize. I am sick, so I'm doing this with a cold. Well, it's actually the corona, but that is what it is. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to lock your health and all your stats right here. So obviously... We're going to need our handy dandy trusty cheat engine here, which I have open on another screen. I'll bring it over to the main. You're going to want to connect to uh, your game. When you do when you do connect to it, I'll bring it over because it's on the other screen too. It's labeled as WRSH. I'm assuming it's Chinese for no one survived. I really don't know. Um, but anyway, you connect to that. And uh, you want to do your first scans. Now all your stats here are going to be floats. So we're going to float, exact value, we're going to do uh, thirst first, it's 49. So um, I'm only going to do uh, one of these so you can see basically, you know, how it's done. Um, thirst is kind of an easy one because you can drink and get your thirst back up there. And then you can, you know, search for the second number relatively quick. So, I mean, like I said, that was pretty easy. You lock it, you set it at 100. Boom, you don't have to worry about thirst again. Okay, um, now, the other one that's hard is the virus antibody. Uh, so, the virus antibody here is a little tricky because it doesn't technically tick down. The only way your virus antibody goes down is if you get attacked by zombies. Um, 847,000 results. That's going to be a little bit tricky to narrate or to navigate through, um, but you can essentially do it by looking at this number here. So all these stats are now going to be a around a 187B, 1BD. These front numbers here are your character data, um, and after here is where it can differ. So let's see if we can get somewhere close 187 b1 like with 800 results it's going to be so hard to dial in on it without like and you can see just with the mouse just scrolling like this it's going to take forever to find it um 187 b7 b5 B3, B2, B1. All right, so um, the other thing, too, is it shouldn't be a long decimal after it. It should actually be uh, like a 67.5 or a 67 or a 66.5. It should be somewhere in there. Um, let's see here. B1B. So I'm looking for B1B. B1B. All right there. So essentially that should be it. Um, you can see how everything lines up except for the last like two or three. Uh, so if I set this to 100, my antibodies go up. Lock that right away. It goes down 0.5 every time you get hit by a zombie. So with that being said, uh, lock that. Um, the only other one you need to be concerned about uh, besides health, obviously, like carbs and proteins are kind of fun to play with, you know, just to watch out your mentality is whatever. Um, but your hygiene, because you got to stay, you can do the same way you isolated thirst. You can do that with hygiene because you just, instead of drinking it, you clean with it and uh, you raise it up. It's easier to isolate that way. Now, hygiene is the zombie's abilities to smell you. So the lower your hygiene, the quicker they are to pick up on you. Um, so hygiene is kind of an important one to, to isolate. Now, the next one we're going to do is actually stamina. Um, because your stamina, they, even though they just increased the, uh, the uh, stamina drain, or well, decreased the drain rather, so you can run longer distances now. Um, it's, it's still, when you get into horde mode, when things start swarming you, it, you have to run away sometimes just to reload or whatever. 
So I'm doing a scan for 130 because stamina is based off of your health as well and your energy. Um, so, but I'm at 130 for health. So my stamina should be 130. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a value between. I'm going to put 0 and 50. Not 50%. 0 and 50, I'm mean, going to have to guess basically where 50 would be out of 130. So I'm just going to run until I'm at basically 0. Now you can set up hotkeys. I don't. I'm lazy. Okay, now I'm just going to do a next game. Now, stamina is going to be around the same description, too, but there's going to be four of them, and you have to figure out which one it is. So now we're going to wait till it gets a little bit higher. We're going to say 50 and 100. We don't want to max out because 130 is the max out. So we're going to say after 50% is greater than 50. We know that. So now we're just going to click here. So Oh, there's only three. So usually there's four. One's a display, so we managed to get the display out. All right, so you just lock one at a time. So mine's the bottom one. It just happened to be the bottom one. So now I just set that to 130. And boom, my stamina's maxed out. Now take those two, get rid of them, just because you don't want to see them. You only want to be able to see the ones that you're actually locked. So now when you're running, your, your stamina bar is going to sit there, but you can run infinitely now. All right, now let's do let's do duping because I know you want to see duping. We are going to do. You can see I've already duped ammo. Ammo, the highest you can go is thirty in some, twelve and or fifteen in others, and twenty five in some others. So you have to find which your one is, or whatever. Now this one here is going to be a four bit because it's just an item in the spot. Now we're going to do uh, thirty. That's going to be our number we're looking for here. Now this method is different than a different any other game um, because of the simple fact that oh, okay, so I wasn't scrolling all the way up. Now that don't matter. It's still going to look for that same number that I started with. So 16. And then we're going to put the 14 back on it. Come over here. Look for 30. Now you can move this anywhere you want to. Um, but we're going to split it one more time just to make sure. That's the one. All right, so here's where it gets tricky. All right, so we found our, we found our number. No big deal. Let's set it to, we'll set it to 500. Now it doesn't show up yet. Come out, go back in. It's still 30. Take it. You can, now you can do whatever you want. You can throw it on the ground. Which is whatever. You can put it in a box. Put it in the box, just left click, goes in the box. All right. Um, I don't know why it says 244. That was weird. Um, but instead of dragging this over here, you just left click it again and it goes back in your inventory. Now, if I drag this over here, it's going to take and make me however many piles of 30. It's going to just spam me with piles of 30. So it's better if you just left click it. Now the thing is, is that I have already isolated this inventory slot. So now anything I put over here, let's say nutrient solution. Now I go back to this, it shows a one. Let's change that to five. Okay, if you notice the weight is at point 0.1, when I put it back in there, it should be like 0.5. Okay, now if I drag it over here, watch what happens. It gives me five. All right, so that's how duping can get messed up. So this one here, if I drag it over, it gives me shitloads of piles of nine rather than just having the 73. Uh, so let's see what else. Okay, here's another thing too. Things that don't stack, toolboxes. Oh, well, I almost did it. Um, 
So this one already has a quantity. That weight is, I think, is supposed to be a one, but because it's a weight of a nine, means I have nine toolboxes here. So if I was to drag that over like I was just going to, it would have threw me nine toolboxes. And it would unstack them all. So we're not going to do that one. Uh, let's one that, okay, let's dupe a gun. All right, so gun shows us one. We're just going to put two because I don't really care. Okay, now I have two. Where did it go? Oh, it went down here. My bad. I got to do it again so you can actually see what happened because I forgot that slot was empty. All right, so we'll do it again. We'll put two. Okay, now if I drag this off of itself, now I have two guns. So, kind of, kind of a whatever. There's no need to dupe guns because there's plenty of them in this game. Um, oil, gun oil is essential because of the fact that's how you increase your durability back on your gun. Uh, go to maintenance, and if you watch this, gun oil will disappear, but my durability will go up. And that's fantastic. Uh, for duping single items, if you're wondering where it's going to... Snow. If you're ever wondering if you're, it's going to come in handy, it's going to be when you're building your foundations. So, let's see if I got a stone handy. I don't. Um, so, if you have a stone... There we go. And you set it to, let's say, 30... Now let's go 31 because I want to have one stone left over. Now we're going to go out here with our build hammer and we're going to build a... I need more than that. I'm going to build a pillar right here just because I don't want to see all that wood stuff. I'm going to build that there and that there. I need 40 each so let's go with 81 instead. I almost did the wrong one. No, 81. Now, as soon as you start to use that stone, it's going to be a heavy weight. So it's going to add some weight, but because I did 81, I can instantly put 40 there. Instantly put 40 there. Stone weight is back down to what it should be, 0.5. And now I have my foundations here. Um, and that is how you dupe, that is how you lock, and as far as power goes, I mean, it's really, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I will show you how to lock certain elements of, I can't, actually, I, d I destroyed my uh, furnace because I got an electric one. Um, if you go into the bonfire and you stoke your fire up, I haven't figured out how to keep this fire going permanently. I did figure out how to do it with a smelting furnace. Um, that is just a float, but this one here, the settings would not retain. But that is all I have for you. Uh, enjoy duping, enjoy having fun, building, crafting, creating, killing zombies, whatever this game is that the other games were not for you. Enjoy it. Peace out, nerds.